Hello everyone and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. It's been a while since we last had a tutorial for our new beginner series. So this tutorial is going to be for our new beginners viewers. Today's lesson, we're going to learn about comments in Roblox. In computer programming, we usually use comments to insert notes into our codes. For example, here I have a block of code here that probably not everybody knows what it's supposed to do. So if I like to make it clearer for people who read my code to, to know exactly what my code is doing, I can insert a comment. To insert a comment in Roblox, you start with two dashes followed by the text that you want, or whatever notes you want to put in. Check for humanoid. All right, so now when people read my code, they, they would know that this block here is to check for humanoid. So this, is, this line here is my comment. How can you tell this line is a comment? Because the color of the text is green. So in, in my setting, in my Roblox Studio settings, I guess that is the default, like comments are green. But it depends on your settings. Uh, co your comments could be a different color. As long as your, your string of text is preceded by two dashes, that, then it is a, a comment. Now a comment doesn't need to take up the whole line. For example, if I want to put in a note on this line to indicate what this line is doing, I can do it like this. Dash, dash, um, turn off, turn off can touch property for debouncing. If people want to know what this statement is doing, they can refer to this comment here and it, it tells them what this code is doing. It's turning off the can touch property for debouncing. And now if I press play here, when the uh, the system process the script, it's just gonna ignore all these comments. So it's just gonna skip over all these comments here. It's not gonna process them. So I wouldn't get an error. If I just put in like, check for humanoid here, when, when I press play, definitely I'm gonna get an error. Even right here, you can see there, there is an error already. Statement spans multiple lines, use indentation to silence, right? So, so there, there is some some syntax error in this section over here already. But when you put in the comment, then now, now everything is good because this line here is ignored and this section of the, 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 the text here is ignored by the system. Let me now just remove this comment here. And you can use comments for other purposes too, uh, other than putting in notes. For example, if I, this is my code, right? And I, I want to test to see what happened if I don't have this statement in my code. Instead of deleting it, right? If, if I just delete it and then later I want to put it back in, I, I wouldn't know what to put in. So instead of deleting it, because I'm not sure if I should remove it or leave it in, then I just can comment it out like this for now, right? Until when I decide to put it back in, all I have to do is come back here and undo the comment to put it back in. So this would save you a lot of work instead of just deleting it. And then later you gotta figure out what you had there in case you wanna put it back in. And the last thing I wanna talk about for today is how to comment out a block of code. For example, if I wanna comment out all these lines, how would I do it? So one way to do it would be to do this and put a two dashes in front of every line. So for every line that I put two dashes in front of the line, the whole line is commented out. But if you have a big block of code, that, that could take a lot of work to put the dashes in front of every line. In Roblox, what you do is you go to the start of the block and you put in dash dash followed by two brackets 
and you can see it commented out everything after the dash dash two brackets so i need to put in two brackets at the end of the block bracket bracket and they say to also put in dash dash but i'm not sure if it makes any difference because as soon as i put in two brackets i can see that this whole block is commented out because the color has been changed to green so with or without the two dashes i'm not sure if it makes any difference but that's how you comment out the whole block in roblox now they also said that if you put in a dash like three dashes in front that's gonna undo the comment let's see what happened so it undo the comment but you can see that you, you know what the first line is not not undone so what you need to do is you need to move this to a separate line so now this whole code in here is not commented out you see the, the color returns back to normal but still i still have the, the 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 garbage over here so i would need to remove that garbage by doing this so this way i can undo the comment and if i want to put back the comment I would have to do this and then I have to remove one of the dash one of the dashes up here now the whole block is commented out again all right but uh, I find there there is another easier way to do this so instead of doing this I'm gonna remove all these I'm gonna return it back to the way it was before and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this whole section of the code and I'm gonna do control slash forward slash and that would put in the dashes in front of every line so the whole block is now commented out and if I want to undo the comment I just gotta select whatever I want to undo say, say if I just want to undo this three lines I'm just gonna select those three lines and control forward slash whoops I didn't do that right let me undo it so control Z and now I'm gonna select these three lines now right because my cursor moved down there and it commented out the, the wrong line so so now I'm gonna do control and forward slash now you can see these three lines are back to normal so I'm gonna undo these lines now the, the first four lines I'm gonna do it again control forward slash and now all my code is back to normal the only comment left is this line right here and you, you can do control slash for, for a single line as well if you instead of doing uh, dash dash or minus sign minus sign you can do uh, control forward slash and it, it would do it for a single line as well Alright, so that's how you use comments in computer programming and those are the different techniques that you can use to comment out your code in Roblox. Now if you are a new beginner in building Roblox, we like to invite you to come and check out our YouTube channel, Price CP Roblox. Again, it's on YouTube and we click on the playlist here. We have a, a bunch of different tutorials for you. Two good uh, series for new beginners would be the new 2022 Price CP Roblox for New Beginners series. I suggest you start with that one and then you move on to the new 2022 Price CP Roblox New Beginners series 2. Those are two very good series for new beginners to learn how to build things in Roblox. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Take care.